Well, the Chiefs now back on the blue side as well for the third time here today. We'll see whether that is going to be what they hinge this victory around. Rek'Sai Shen already removed on that side. Callista Twisted Fate for Legacy. And wow, straight away they get rid of the Shen. They yep. want Swiper on a carry. They do not want Miki absorbing all of that damage. And you just think it's a couple of games too late for them. At least gets banned by the Chiefs. Yeah, not wanting to first pick it another time round here. Legacy, we'll see what they ban as their final choice. The Sivir, of course, still up. And an opportunity to ban away now for Legacy as Chiefs. They first picked it the first game. They may just do it again. And we'll have to see what they want to go with their third ban. Taking all the time off the clock. It Jace. is the Jace. So leaving up a few different options here. Alistair snuck through. And Ejim looking to take his team to the world's qualifier, world qualifiers at IWCI once again, this time with Alistair. Yeah, so looking to see whether he can get the big Mook out in the front line, set up all the team fights. And this is what made Ejim Ejim as well. But Carbon hovering the Poppy, number one Poppy player on the Oceanic server, ladies and gentlemen. I'll have you know, number 17 in the world currently was number one. He's not going to pick it, but it's definitely a cool hover. Yeah, great storyline behind it. Oh, yeah, I know, right? I can't believe you put time into looking that up. <laughs> Minky Whale is the best Varus on the server. That's legit. Not sure, but Sivir was, of course, left up. Legacy wastes no time. Four seconds, and the victor looks to be the option for Choo Choo's. Don't worry, guys. Poppy's still an option. Can be either in the hands of Minky Whale or Carbon. We'll be fine. A lot of movement speed so far. Oh, Good yeah. Good ability to skirmish once again. Echoes Zipper because up. she's got the ability to trade so well with abilities and has the yeah. auto attack reset. Does well on just Infinity Edge. And you got to say that... Victor's good at every point of the game. I think he's good in champion select. That's yeah. That's good. Yeah, look at how intimidating he is. You look at that face. Like, oh, he was great in cosplay today as well. Hey, that's true. Shout really good at shading to... eyes yep. from the sun. That was Wonderful a great stuff. picture. Oh, best caption I've ever seen on a picture. No context here for anyone watching. No, they have no idea what They're going to have to troll Twitter to try and find it. But you will, and it will be worth it. The Chiefs taking some time here, only 12 seconds to go. Some options still left on the table. Spooks, he could go with the Echo if he wants to. We haven't seen it just yet, and there it is. Locked away for Spooks, and the Fizz one more time. Radier and Swift are still yet to make up their mind, and now Legacy with three picks to react to. So Swift doesn't mind Yarr. the matchup of Fizz in the mid lane. Echo, of course, you're such a good jungler. True. So. They take it early, knowing that they can run it mid. If they want, they can check out who the jungler is going to be for Carbon and then maybe rotate it into the top if that is what Swiper wants to play. Yeah, could be an option, but Cassidy is also there. We've seen it picked into Victor time and time again. We'll see whether Swiffer goes back to his champion that he managed to get a pentakill on his first PAX competition. Of course, that's looking back in time quite a way. They also lost the game. So they he did, but he's still got a pentakill spawn. No need to bring it down. Wally Thacker hovering gangplank for a long time. Mickey and likes Brom's it. still there. The switch over. Carbon was comfortable last game. It's going to be comfortable now. Lee Sin going to be picked up in the jungle roll. And why not? Just oh, such a no. dominant early game. And he was landing so many key sonic waves, weaving his abilities, perfect timing. Really enjoyed watching Carbon play the Lee Sin when, look, I hadn't been that impressed by his Lee Sin performances in the past. He's, you're looking at me like I'm a crazy person. Yeah. Maybe I'm misremembering. Yep, you certainly are. He's okay, a good really point. good Lee Sin player. All right, I'm going to just... Uh, yeah, that guy's gone. We're fine now. 30 seconds on the clock here for the Chiefs to round out their team comp. Okay, unfortunately Champ Select has gone a little bit mental on us. We are going to get that one back up again. These picks are going to be confirmed for you as well. So we're just going to run straight through. Same champions. We have now the task of remembering what those champions were. The Chiefs had Alistair, Echo, and Fizz. Fizz. And on the other side, it was Victor, Sivir, Braum, and... Lee Sin. Lee Sin, perfect. Because we just spent... <laughs> 
large segment, segment of time talking about it. So that's what we've got so far for these sides. And what do you expect the Chiefs to answer with here, Spawn? Yeah, so we'll have to see exactly how they want to play it. Do they go back to a mid-game AD carry, or do they try and use something like a Jinx to punish the range and keep Radiant nice and safe on a longer range AD carry? They've got a very good mid-game comp. Echo dives better than anyone, and when you couple it with an Assassin like a Fizz, they yeah. can just get under the turrets. Whereas on the side of Legacy, only have Minky Whale's champion left available going to counterpick it. And, and once they again, want to see where the fizz is going. That's why. Yeah, once again, leaving the Minky Whale pick to very, very last minute as well. So, of course, making sure that Minky Whale is in the most comfortable position because they oh, identified. Yeah, everything exactly. is against this guy. They're like sending all their resources into Minky's lane. He's living the direst life, I think. Seems to be where Minky Whale is sitting at the moment. And see, so trying to get back through champion select now. As we are desperate to get into our fourth game. And man, it's all on the line. Massive task ahead for Legacy. They've got to win two in a row to make it back to IWCI. And look, I don't know whether they'll be able to do it this time, but five games would most certainly be a dream spawn. Yeah, it would be a treat, especially between these two teams. Oh, We've yeah. talked about the history all night, but when you just look at what they've put together on this night, the Chiefs streak finally over. Legacy fighting back. We've seen some of the best Chiefs brand of League of Legends in the first couple of games. The way they dragged people around the map, shut out yep. portions of Legacy's jungle, forced a Nunu off farm, of all things. They really have bought their A game as well. But Legacy just keep rising. They're a fine wine. They get better with age. <laughs> they get better with age each day. Yeah. And it's like they revert back in the morning. Not sure how that works. Stop There's no analogy my saying, there. Man. No, no, I was trying to actually get an analogy to fit, and that was never going to happen. You just shoehorned it. Yeah, I apologize. Look, that's me, the analogy shoehorner. <laughs> what the? Thank heck? goodness for champions. Yeah, like. basically. 40 seconds down on the clock as the Chiefs now looking to finish out their lineup. Swiffer is going to pick up the Oriana. You know it's business time when that one's there, and the Corky for Radius. So once again. Lots of comfort around the rift. And it's a blind pick Fizz top. See what Minky wants to play into it. Does he go something safe like a Maokai? Hecarim still up. Minky loves to play. Fight fire with fire. The pony in the top lane. Or he can go Tom Kench again. Yeah, who knows? He could play Poppy. Loads of options. This is, of course, Minky well. He could play Zack if he feels like it. I'm just thinking about all of the legacy picks from way back when. Claire, of course, has to lock in the champion for him. 15 seconds to go. Legacy trying to work it out. Minky staying quiet. Hasn't swapped the summoner spell yet. Probably just will yet. just be a super tank if that is the case. Yeah, Tom Kench one more time. And he's opted in to the same matchup. But this time he has an aggro jungler. So in a 2v2 situation, might be able to turn it around. Good point. They can just send a little bit more help up there. The thing about Tom Kench. So okay. let it go game one. This game I will bring it up. Brutally melee. Can't yep. get into range of a lot of his ability. Needs three auto attacks and actually has a really slow auto attack animation. By the time it comes through, you can wave back into the creep wave because it's the tongue that he's looking to hit you with most yeah. of the time to set up the W because the W, very short range. It's just not a good matchup for a laning phase. He's great if you can get him to four items. Four items is a breaking point. He's not even a level six spiking champion. He's like a level 13. You need that many points in abilities. Beast late game, just cannot get him through it. But if you look down the legacy lineup, there is so much mid game prowess. Yeah. So maybe this time it's possible. And I'm looking at Minky while you said that he's incredibly kiteable on the Tom Kench. They, they now have on the hunt. They can get him into the fight maybe a little bit more easily with this Sivir. And it's legacy's turn to use this power pick that has done fantastic things for both of these teams so far this season. Yeah, certainly is worrisome thing is that they don't have an answer for a split push still. Very good Swiper point. on Fizz can have the run of the map. 
Well, we'll see whether once again it's going to happen. But ladies and gentlemen, get on Twitter. Use that hashtag CHF win if you think the Chiefs can close it out here. Or if you believe on five games the dream, hashtag LGC win to see whether we can stay on Summoner's Rift for as long as possible. Speaking of which, here we are onto the Rift for game four. Legacy versus Chiefs. This time the Chiefs back into the blue side. And Legacy on the red. Ping's coming down. And the defensive fan for Legacy. Just looking to set up a line of scrimmage. Do not want to give anything away. Level one. Chiefs clumped up, looking to invade the Lee Sin. They will successfully get in. Oh, but they missed the ward. Not going to grab first CS of the game just yet. Tom Kench just going to slither his way towards that top turret. And the answering roam from Legacy is there as well. So once again, deep vision for both teams. Minky Whale actually backing as well. Not sure whether they saw him there on the top side. Definitely did not. No one walked up that far. Have to see what the call is. You feel that they would love to get a lane swap to hold Fizz down. Yeah. But it looks like Fizz heading towards the top side of the map. And unless Legacy go right now, they're going to be late to any lane swap. And you can see Raider and EGM actually waiting towards the bottom side of the map. They want the two on two. Well, hanging around the middle, actually. They are well and truly with two options at the moment. We'll run over a ward. Yeah, that ward's going to spot it. Moving towards the bottom side of the map. Legacy will see what they decide to do in response. Tallywack is here. They're going to leash the Gromp. Which Gromp? That's the question. Oh my goodness. Minky Whale with some cannibalism here to start off the game. And Wally actually going to grab the Gromp for himself. So Carbon giving that one away. Blue buff going over to him. Minky Whale following. So I really like this when you do it on Sivir because she shoves lane with level two really well. Oh yeah. Ricochet, boomerang, you can just get it in under turret. And that's where Alistar is no good at all, unless you get a great flash pulverized headbutt back under there. So we'll see whether they're able to shove in Egym and make him pay for picking the melee support. Well, looks like the Krugs did go down here for the Chiefs. Egym able to use that triumph and Roy, I believe, to try and get themselves back up to health. But Wally going super aggro here. Radio already down to half health. The Pulverize was taken first here by Ejim. So Claire unable to pursue any further. You can see the push is on. Legacy Level making. Three achieved. Yeah. Must have grabbed some solo experience while Claire was warding that brush. Ejim pops both ends of the boomerang. Yep, that's the double tap to make sure that it's done. And this is one of those weird control mage matchups where. You say that Oriana is better offense, uh, defensively than Victor, gives a lot more to the team with a speed up, the ability to put that command protect out, but Victor is just an offensive beast. When it comes to the control mages, he does so much work with that death ray and the ultimate across the entirety of the team. But Swiffer, we're to get some decent clockwork wind-ups. Five CS, so yeah. quickly count minions. It's about even. <laughs> Think he's falling. You're much faster at that than I am. Not very good. I often just look at the number and go, yeah, he's winning. But often, just don't look at the wave. Nice gathering of the Siege minion by Wally. But Spooks looking Already for a parallel convergence. Oh, they got Egypt. And he goes, there's the headbutt back onto Clef. Oh, is he going to get the stun? Not going to find a Clef. Still under fire. Time winder. A not going to connect onto Wally. There. Actually, not much at all. Flash from one team. Yeah. And heal from another. Wally didn't even heal. He was like, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> Fate is in your own hands now, Claire. Well, Swift are actually taking some aggression here from Choo Choo's. The auto attack trade's working here for the Orianna. Ball comes in. Dissonance not going to be used, but you see, he didn't actually hit a creep, so that clockwork windup did a bunch of work. Certainly did. Swift was holding that creep wave as well. Often talk about the work that they put in early games, those mages. Yeah. Well, Wally able to clear out under turret. Even is the farm, though, here for Radia. But so this time around, back. Swiper is missing out on some CS. Yeah, pulverize in. Claire has to be careful of this wow. phosphorus bomb, but he's going so aggro. One more auto tackle, stun up Radia. The boomerang is good as well. 
Legacy. They are playing with so much gusto on the bottom side of the map. Claire just doesn't care. What the heck? Yeah. It's like the Terminator just walking forward. Have you seen him play mid lane? I have, actually. Yeah. He's doing the same thing here. No regard for the lineage of this bottom lane by the Chiefs. There's no fear at all as once again Spooks oh, is wow. in. There's a flash pole rise onto both. Parallel Convergence is there. They are going to get the stun this time onto Claire. First blood for Radia. And who else would you want it on, Chiefs fans? And this time around, Spooks picks the bottom lane for where he's going to add all of that pressure. Carbon on the Lee Sin hasn't been as active as he was last time around. And Spooks is showing why you do not give good junglers Echo. He is so versatile. Yeah, and I was looking at both of these junglers as well. Not only do they look relatively similar, they do a similar thing because you have a lot of gank power in the early game. How do they look similar? No, kind of. You know, with his fancy skin, he's in the sand. Come on, man, throw me a bone. <laughs> Oh, you've lost me on that one. I was with you the whole way. I thought you were going to talk Synergy about Synergy broken and the cast game. is yeah, done. it's done. Yeah, well, Carbon is going to find Spooks. Look at them! <laughs> well, not right now. It's the wrong skin to spawn. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Spooks still being invaded, though. Yeah, Sonic Wave uncharacteristically not going to land there, but in goes Spooks. Trying to pick a fight with Carbon. Parallel Convergence going to get himself a shield here for Spooks, but in goes Spooks everyone flashes. from Legacy. Death round to Spooks! In goes Carbon! Snaps him to death! Blank as the Tempest comes it. in, Ejim as well under fire. There's the Chaos Storm Radiant trying to kill Choo Choo's Valkyries over the wall. Here. Uses it like an equalizer, and Radiant now finds himself in an odd position, but with a 2 0 scoreline. Flashes over the wall, and no more for Carbon. 2 2 is now the score. Yes, so the kills on Radiant right now. Carbon as well as Claire have picked up one apiece. That's. Probably better news for the Chiefs, honestly, because Corky's starting to very much ramp up towards this mid-game, although they will also use the death of Spooks to pick up the first dragon of the game. Yep, Swiper has turned around the CS now as well, 43 to 42, but you're exactly right. Well, Mickey this went, dragon's gonna fall. Mickey was in that team fight. Yeah, like, he was in behind tier understand. two. I understand, yeah. Has the teleport now as well, so he just headed back towards the top. And I would love for him to just stop at Barmy Cinder this game, learn from last mistake, and go straight for Shroud. Yeah. Does so well with Spirit Visit. Look at how much passive health regen he has that now him goes on everything. Just pick it up nice and early in the game. And make sure that the Fizz cannot run over the top of you. Well, Choo Choo's now going to pick up the blue buff. We'll see exactly what the answer from Minky is going to be. Of course, if that's what they identified as their problem with the Tarn Kench when they picked it up last time around, might be a way that they solve that issue this game. Swiffer able to grab himself the blue as well. So, blue stuff spinning around our mid laners now. We'll see whether they can get any extra pressure. And right now, because... Claire is in base and there is so many caster creeps. Wally just completely zoned off the lane. Still has a slight CS advantage, but you feel all that good work of giving him Gromp level oh, one. Oh wow, these boomerangs have been great for picking up that farm. Certainly has been. I speak too much about people getting farm, but I do. It's one of my things that I really enjoy watching. Just means that Radia are going to be able to sit much more comfortably in this lane than you would expect. Yeah, Legacy are going to head back, grab the Grom for themselves as Claire makes his way down. Wow, he's level 7 still. Wally doing a great job of grabbing every piece of experience on the map, but this freeze is so deep. Yeah. And lo and behold, look who is bottom lane. Hello, Echo. As Wally, they don't know that Spooks is there just yet. They might have an inkling. Oh, they 100% know. He hasn't shown anywhere else. Okay, well, in goes the phase dive. Claire might be in trouble now as well. Does have the flash, can get over the wall. Just stand behind me, Mr. Carbon. And he's safe. No summon is spent. And, oh, Wally wanted to shove that wave out so badly. Instead, they lose all vision because Claire's been chunked. They probably still can't get rid of the presence in the bottom lane. Yeah, and that Glacial Fissure Legacy looking for it, trying to find... That hugely impactful ability, of course, when Braum really gets strong. They're going to freeze this up once again. So well, they sent everyone bot now. Legacy pulled the trigger. They're not happy with how this was going. No. Well, Pinkwood is going to spot every member of Legacy out apart from Minky Whale. 
Can't quite get there. Legacy actually just burning down some bushes as well. Choo Choo's just mad at the world. So they don't want Radia to get any further ahead. He's already got the two kills, still down a little bit in CS. So they send four members to just break the freeze because there was no way that Aegean wasn't going to hold that creep wave off turret and just reinforce the position of the wave. Give up a lot of CS potential in the mid lane. You can see that Swiffer now doing a very good job of farming up a storm. Oh, yeah. But Choose helping out his team once again. Yeah, he's going to be able to grab a Raptor camp for himself as Ooh, well using that shield. Here. Yeah, in goes Minky Well. Not find too much as the Rift Scuttler is going to be picked up here by Spooks. Does have the ultimate now as well. Can Chrono break his way around the Rift? see how he uses that at the same time. It is a mild gold lead now for Legacy. And of course, Swiper, he's caught back up. You can see Minky Whale having a fine time in the lane though. We'll see whether Fizz can get the better of it or whether this time Minky is gonna be able to come out ahead. You can see farm lead for Swiffer with the Athenes on Holy Grail now completed. No change ups, no interesting Rod of Ages builds or anything like that here for Swiffer. Going for the stock standard. Oriana build of old. Minky trying to look tasty. Yeah, Tom Kench unfortunately does not. No, everybody else looks tasty to Tom Kench, pretty sure. Great health was building, but Legacy not going to find their window of opportunity. Life has smelt something. He's like, nope, not going in. Just predictive play. This game for the Chiefs. May as well be the game five because you oh, yeah. feel that if they lose game three and four, it would be a very hard hole to come back from. And it's the, the extra feet. fear. It's the extra fear because winter, that was a massive upset, but that is now sitting in the back of the Chiefs' minds. It's that in the is front the front of biggest... their mind. I guarantee oh, that yeah. they would have even spoken about it. There's... They may have even heard us yell, winter is coming. That's not so really great. Carbon here in the mid lane takes dissonance damage here, but Ooh. there's the flash immediately answered by Swiffer. Holds onto the kick, does Carbon, so he doesn't waste the cooldown, but the flash is now down for this Lee Sin. But you always trade mid flash oh, for yeah. jungle. Very good work there. Carbon needs to get busy around the map though, because Echo scales so well. Base damage is out of everywhere. The stun that can come through, huge shield. And no oh, there's the flash ball rise. Claire lost. gonna get pushed back. Not gonna quite find the damage with the. Um, the Q, but in goes Spooks. Parallel Convergence not finding anything at all. Swipers here, they're looking to try and answer the teleport from Minky. Victor's here as well. Yep, in goes Swiper. Claire, very, very low. Chum the waters, but he gets eaten. And Minky well safe. Oh. No, he doesn't. The Ignite's enough. That was so close. Nearly got the safeguard through. My goodness, that passage of play. You may have heard confused me quite a bit, but... The Chiefs able to get at least the one kill. And you're just seeing the versatility of the Legacy lineup right now, trying to find a window in. But the members, the Trinity Force users of the Chiefs starting to inch their way ahead. And because of the gold efficiency, they just peak a little bit sooner. You get everything out of that item. Legacy want to be on the clock with Dragons, but it just might not be possible. And we can confirm that Legacy cannot hear us because Minky Whale has completed once again the Sunfire Cape. May have gone too deep into the armor another time around. We'll see whether it is going to work this time, whether it's once again going to bite them. And because they know that Swiper doesn't have teleport, they bring Minky back down, start up the dragon one more time. Did you see the triumphant roar to deny a creep just then as well? That was beautiful from Ejim. Legacy though are going to be able to take down the dragon. Definitely the relevant information on the screen right now. See, they are going to be able to pick up their second of the game. So, five dragons, a win condition opportunity relatively early here for the Legacy lineup. It certainly is. They're going to have it at about 32 minutes in, which is freakishly early. Freakishly. For a non lane swap situation. But meanwhile, Swiper just starting to accrue a lead in the top lane. Minky needs to be careful. He got ran over by this Fizz in game two. Yeah, he is going to use his ultimate to get himself towards the top side. Pops out of the ground, slash water, slash whatever the heck that was. And is going to just get back up here and continue farming away. Does have the Sunfire Cave for some extra wave clear. Which is something that Tom Kench sorely desires. Ejim wanted that headbutt so bad. They're not going to find it this time. Claire, 
probably going to fight him. Oh, and no, Echo gonna wander heading forward. into the top lane. Yeah, there's the tongue lash from Minky trying to stack up this passive. Ready to be eaten, is Swiper. You got a creep spat at him though, so no danger there. No. But they want it. And there it goes. Passive is worn off. And Spooks, parallel convergence, large range. So he can sit in this brush. Minky knows. He's like, he is up here. Yep. You can feel it in the waters. Not in that brush. Can confirm. Yep. Means it must be the other one. Oh, so fish. much damage by that spit out. Parallel convergence, not going to be able to find a stun. Minky just waddles away. Able to live another day. Yeah. Of course, he's an ex endangered species, Tom Kench, because I've never seen anything like him. Well, I can see, I see Gromps killed every single game spawn, and they can't be infinite. <laughs> well, hang on, it's a video game. Maybe they can. Chiefs, a thousand gold lead though, at this in stage. in the bottom lane. Maybe looking for something. No, just defending the turret. Yep. Wally, not quite finding the spell shield, and Carbon Claire? looking to find his way in. It's <laughs> a headbutt, see you, Claire. Do you know who Claire is playing like? As Carbon, maybe. He's playing like T-Gun. He's just <laughs> going back to base, running into later, just bodying people. Shout out to Brad Seymour there, of course. In the crowd at the moment. Spooks, oh, the flash from Choo Choo's power. Okay, see Spooks. Chrono breaks all the way up. It's like it never happened, Choo Choo's. Was Except he even you there? you don't have a flash. Yep. It's like Spooks ran over to his computer and pressed the F button. Oh, oh there's a shockwave on her choose. Spooks grabs another kill for the Chiefs. And that was textbook Swiffer and Spooks play. Yeah, it certainly was, but Choose was in range. I knew it was coming. Just a gr bit greedy for those red dots. Yeah, didn't think they would pull the trigger on it. Right now, Chiefs 4 2. They're up by 1500 gold. No real objectives falling except for Dragons but starting to climb their way ahead through some good CS totals and kills across the board. Yeah, Choo Choo's... Oh, actually, Swiffer being caught out here by Carbon. Wants to land the Q, does. As the kick is available, Swiffer trying to turn it around. Parallel Convergence was there. Swiffer just getting some auto attacks on the turret. Oh. In goes Carbon, kicks him under there. There are no more creeps, Swiffer, but he turns it. Carbon's dead and the Chiefs... The dynamic duo pick themselves up another kill. Yeah, the best friend club very much on the table this time around. Spooks having a great game on Echo, by the way, as well. Minky's starting to get the better of some trades. You have to think that Swiper must be sitting on a gold mine, though. Oh, yeah, he wants that Trinity Force. 1,480 gold. Oh, Minky's on a fair bit as well, though, and he's going to be able to grab the turret unless Spiper Licking it to death. Two turrets going to fall simultaneously. I want a map where turrets are ice creams. Just watch this guy take them down over and over again. Look at that. Delicious. <laughs> and the wave is going to turn around on him as well. The only thing worse than his auto attack animation is his <laughs> run animation. It's not a run. How do you call that a run? See, now that's a run animation. Yeah, there it is. See, Spooks knows how to do it. He's talking about Agent. All oh, right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Serious disconnect. Still ensuing on the cards to this. But Best Friends Club still taking down minions here in the mid lane. But double turrets fell, which means that Legacy crawl their way back closer in gold just in time for third dragon up in, in a minute and a half. Teleports will be available this time around. Yep, Raptor Sense gonna spot the Chiefs have been seen. And because of how much further ahead, well, he's not ahead, but the game is on much more even footing this time for Minky. So he's been able to get some MR earlier, much earlier than he had last time around, and oh, yeah. should be able to survive the onslaught that was Swiper's fizz. Such a fun champion. Can't get over it. Carbon, not gonna find the Sonic Wave. The headbutt, love tap, gets Carbon out of that brush. Chiefs continue to hold this dragon area. 45 seconds. But this is what we've been waiting all season for. Someone to challenge Chiefs on vision control around objectives. And Legacy have been able to do it this entire game. Even going to look Where to pick up the Scuttlecrab. Scuttlecrab Scuttle got very confused about where his pathing is. He's like, I'll be the dragon, guys. Turret is going to fall here in the mid lane. Nice rotational play here by the Chiefs. The minion wave now has to be dealt with by Choo Choo's. 19 seconds left on this dragon as well. That pink ward, the pesky pink ward that Ejim can now finally, nope, not quite deal with. Ooh, 
need to be careful about bumping. Oh, there it is, the shockwave under three members. Swiffer with the huge play. The Chiefs immediately clean it up. <laughs> that was massive. Swiffer coming up with a brilliant shockwave off the back of the ball delivery cow, oh. I believe, that time around. And we said, don't clump. Needs more cowbell spawn. They, and they most certainly got it. Legacy just smacked together in the air, and there was nothing that they could do, and that is going to be... Oh, look at that. Look Poetry. At... Yeah, that was huge in the end, and Wally was like, well, I'm not going in on that. Yeah, okay, guys, I'll go back to that. Chiefs, 3,000 gold. And the Chiefs seem to be winning these games off singular plays and then snowballing that out of control. Do they have an opportunity to do that again? Or could this not be that situation one more time? Can Legacy find a way in? So Legacy definitely have the... Wow. Okay, Minky well. Lots of grey health now. Has eaten himself a fizz. He's holding on to that button. Now going to use it for the shield. As Swiper is unrelenting. My goodness, that health bar is just getting eaten. Fade away. Is it going to be enough? Swiper lock it down so close all the members of legacy up in the top lane yeah they are corralling the chiefs as e jim he's gonna use the pulverized parallel convergence is here, here they come. they're stunned onto two members as legacy are getting moved around there's that shockwave only onto two though legacy not Ready, losing too many yet and they've actually won this trade at this point mickey well the only one to die spooks finally takes down claire to even Car it has out been slowed there's the death ray. Legacy continue to move, and so far, two for two. So a lot of action around the rift, guys. The Chiefs starting to feel it. You can see going once again for the aggressive builds. Bilgewater Cutlass coming through. Bloodwater, uh, blood, Bloodthirster finish, yep. as well as a death cap. And they're just starting to put the clamps on 3,000 gold, now rotating into the top lane. They want potentially the dive. Spooks is on the side, Rady goes in. Yeah, there's the Valkyrie, but he's gonna get stunned by the gravity field. Death Ray just to say, no, please no, Radio. And he missed a bunch of spells, and Choo Choo's is gonna be absolutely fine. And the crazy thing to me right now is the fact that Swiffer only just bought that Rabbitin's Death Cap, and we talk about the Athene's Death Cap as being such a huge power spike. And he was doing so much work with that shockwave before that was even there. Yeah, and it's because he's at 250 CS at 23 minutes in. Has farmed up an absolute storm. It's Radius swapping into that top lane. Thank you, well. Spitting creeps around, but Radia able to continue this shove. It's out of turret, probably not long for the world. Yeah, they're not going to be able to stop it. Looking to maybe pull the trigger in the mid lane. In the end, just sacrifice it. Wow, they're all going top. Yep. Legacy moving around as a unit now. Minky Whale, he's in the top side, has the ultimate available. Is there. No teleport on Swiper, so this is at best going to be a 4v5. Yep, Claire is so deep in this one as well. Winter's Bite lands. There's a Glacial Fissure. Radiant can't flash it. Deathray on top of him. The Corky shut down. Wow. Oh, Carbon with the huge kick. Ejim is going to be able to escape for now as Spooks does have the chrono break there. Swiffer trying to kite. There's the command attack. Command protect as well for a bit of... Oh way. my god, Carbon obliterated. And Swiper is still going in the top of the bottom lane. Yep, Claire almost gets destroyed by Swiffer alone. He's a one-man army, but wow! That extra damage from Choo Choo's as Wally Thack has to be careful. And it's only Ejim that's going to fall. Swiper rotated in, now behind them. Yep, in comes Swiper. The casual urchin strike delivers a fish to Wally. Delicious. He's not the only fish on the rift. Is Mikuel that can eat a player. Swiper really showing how assertive he wants to be. Sacrifices a split push, comes in, wins the team fight. Chiefs starting to get ahead, and these shockwaves out oh of Swiffer goodness. are deleting people. And that last one, you, it looked like Swiffer was caught. But Just no. held it for the opportune moment, made sure it was onto two members. Gets rid of Carbon, the person that was tailing him the whole time. And that was with Radir off the map. That was a 4-0-2 Corky that did nothing. Yeah. And Chiefs still come out ahead. Now all on Swiffer, just controlling where his enemies were going to be. Picking the fights when he could get them. Now just dissonancing these waves down. Has an amp tomb. Couple of rings as well. Now he's at 280 CS at 25 minutes in. 
That's a lot of farm spawn. As much as we said that this season was all about the return of Radier, Swiffer has shown up huge in the playoffs. Yeah, it's been Swiffer's series, especially today as well. Yeah, was able to really take it to Avant. That's true. And now against Choo Choo's, one of the few mid laners that he does tend to struggle with, at least in laning phase, he's done a brilliant job. Yeah, the last couple of games, I mean, full credit to Choo Choo's. He was playing brilliantly despite that, but Swiffer still looking like one of the most dominant mid laners here in the Oceanic region. Minky well, so hungry. He's getting very tanky though. Minky is at the point where one more item and he's a critical mass. It's going to probably be Aranjuan's Omen coming through and he's going to start doing work. Members are going to struggle to chunk him out. And it's going to be hard as well to stop the Onslaught because they have so much forward momentum. You mentioned this in the champion select, the fact that on the hunt is there. Choo Choo's does have the Q as well for a bit of extra movement speed for himself. And then you've got Claire on the Braum who can control these team fights so well. He, he saw it in the last game. See how Legacy Teleport coming there. in. Yeah, there it is. Minky well trying to find his way into the fight. He's going to get there. Spooks, of course, very tricky. There's the flash forward. Minky looking for the eat. Is going to grab it. Spit Spooks back out. Does have the chrono break. Shockwave can get out of there. there. Yeah. Are the club members of Legacy going to fall at this moment? Ejim, command protect, but he's holding on to the trigger. Swiffer not calling for it. He knew that that was going to be the ultimate that could either make or break this game. Yeah, good initiation coming through from Minky this time oh, around. Oh my goodness. You can see how scared they are of Swiffer right now. And how Swiffer hungry Swiffer still is. Still looking for the flank. Egypt got him. Yeah, there's Clay. Not going to get over the wall this time. The ball is in. Is he going to be able to get back? There's. Oh my goodness. Minky out. Just eats him. Chum the Waters is on top of Choo Choo's, but. Chiefs don't pull the trigger. Agent was too far, the ball retracted. Swiffer couldn't get the ultimate off. All of a sudden, the support is down. The rest of Legacy staying separated as well. They don't want to get on top of this ball. Parallel Convergence is there. They split the team. Swoop picks up the Dragon. Mickey Well eats another one. The shutdown by Wally. Mickey is so big in this fight. As Wally kiting around, finishes Swiper. Legacy, they're still going for it. One more time, Legacy. As right here, he's gonna get caught. Winners, but of course, is gonna solidify. Oh, wow. Right here, dodging out of the way. In goes e Jim. The boomerang's true as well. Ace not completed yet. e Jim and right here trying to hold on to their turret. That was with no shockwave going down. Swiper died in the combo coming through from Choose just after Choose was subsequently killed. Yep. <laughs> and this game is on a knife's edge, guys. Legacy holding on for dear life. Minky is getting to the point where he's just too big to handle. Wally starting to amp up. Has got another BF sword. And the Chiefs just want it to be over. <laughs> Certainly does look that way. Of course, Void Staff now completed. Let's but let's see this look. one again. So this is what I'm talking about. Swiffer got deleted within that gravity field because of his positioning. And then Wally with just some great kiting coming through. Carbon helping his AD carry. But Radier, props to the AD carry of the Chiefs. Able to dance around. Dodges out of the way of pretty much every ability after this point. Gets stunned up. Able to turn around, keep himself alive. Wow. Continues to kite back, dodges again. Wow, that was phenomenal. That was so well played. That's why you build Bloodthirst to second, ladies and gentlemen. It'll give you a bit of health back when you auto attack. <laughs> uh, was I wrong with Spawn? No, you were not. And Oh, in goes Carbon, looking to try and grab a pick. Spooks able to move around this one, but oh my gosh, this could be the shockwave moment as Ejim in there with the ultimate. Only a two man, but the dissonance is there. Mickey well eats his friend Carbon, and they can't finish off the kill. Legacy are able to get out of this one. But all of a sudden, one. yeah, they're just going to be able to corral them away from being able to back. And Swiper looking to break the base. Yep, the if they go back has become much, the Corala. If they back, oh, this is so good for the Chiefs. They tried to pull the trigger there, trigger their legacy, couldn't get in. Yeah, and they got the inside track on this inner turret and Swiper, Swiper in the meantime. Going. Absolutely right.
Thank you, Al. He just wants to be able to start something up because they know that they just lost that trade horrifically. Oh, he's going Frozen Heart. Really good pickup. So the reason Frozen Heart better, obviously large, effective, healthful. Yep. Due to the gray health. Gives you some cooldown reduction. I like it. And it's also fantastic against Fizz. Theoretically a little bit against Orianna and Corky as well. Clockwork wind-up, man. You can't understand. I knew where you were going with it, yeah. Is this where I talk about Beyblade? No, it's not. Okay, I won't. Just for you. Can you talk about Nash's tooth? That was a build. It was. Power of Evil, thank you. That was when Rune... Uh, yeah, Runeglaive was slightly different. A lot of fun. Thanks for letting us know that you'll come back, Minky Wow. So Wally Thack is going to clear out the top wave. So that one's going to meet, possibly keep pushing out for Legacy as well as the Chiefs. See whether they can find another key shockwave. Swiffer must be feeling so much pressure at the moment. He, he got knows. the frozen heart. Yep. Is this critical mass spawn? He's pretty close to as strong as he's going to be. Well, it is four items, including the boots. Legacy with so much wave clear. The Chiefs. The way diminishing returns work, like he can get things on top of it. For example, the Warmogs and like Thorn Mail and just become even bigger. But from that point, probably overkill is once again, have a heart. That is your brother. Oh my goodness. That was, why did we stay watching that? It was disgusting. <laughs> Swiper going to continue clearing out this wave, trying to get revenge for some gromps here, wanting to find Minkuel knows that he's committing some awful things in this lane. The rest of Legacy preparing around the Baron. Chiefs clearing out Vision as well. Staying over their respective sides and doing a much better job of not clumping up right now, Legacy. Yes. As Very far away wary. from each other as they can. Egypt needs to make sure he doesn't go too deep again, though. Because we saw that Choo Choo's can delete both Radiant and Swiffer right now. Neither have a defensive count. item. Yep, Carbon just looking to grab some Raptor Sense. Does that first off, clears out the ward. Now he's going to kill the Raptor itself. Spooks wants to time wind his way towards that one, but not going to find it here. And let's go through the items just for a moment, because Blade of the Ruined King was picked up second here for Swiper. Was what he went for last time around, but he's a massive split push threat. Do have that Lock of the Iron Solari here for Spooks. Lots of utility now looking like he wants... Frozen Heart. The Frozen Heart. I was going to say Iceborne Gauntlet. Definitely Frozen Heart. Yeah, I have a feeling it probably is too. He's all about boring items. <laughs> Uh. As Swiffer, it doesn't really matter what he grabs next. It's Carbon. He's in onto Spooks. They've done this before, though. Can be dangerous. Yeah, Carbon just wants to show that they can initiate at any time and that the Chiefs lineup still have to respect what Legacy is bringing to the table. Now positioned around Baron. Both teams on two dragons, so that's probably not a win condition right now. Spooks can. Yeah, there's the Winter's Bite onto Ejim, but he wants to be tanking up all these abilities. Spooks as well, pretty tanky here. Parallel Convergence is down. Not a huge cooldown though, and both teams just rallying, trying to find their ways in. Chiefs separating for a moment, Legacy as well. And you can feel the tension in this game. Everyone trying to get that slight positional advantage. Spooks goes low. Rockets flying past, and Legacy get the dragon. So that's going to fall three to two. But Egypt may have found the rest of Legacy. Now oh, they actually gonna pull out. Around. Are they going to be able to grab an unbreakable wheel? They're carbon in on top of the rest of the team. Swiffer kicked into I don't even know where. Mickey Wow finally takes down Egypt. Oh, the three man shockwave dissonance is there. Carbon not quite dead just yet. A swiper wants to throw some fish. Didn't quite find the mark. Urchin Strike safeguarded out of, and Minky Whale eats Carbon. How is he not dead? Yeah, saves his jungle alive there. It is support, traded for support. Now the Chiefs posturing around Baron. What a shockwave. One more time coming oh, yeah. out of the mid laner. Swiffer doing so well this game, and he's going to try and zone solo. Yeah, does probably want to pick up some items here as well as the Chiefs. They've started off the Baron. Minky with the pink ward over the side. They all have complete vision of this. Going Licky onto Swiffer. The dissonance is slowing people down as well. Choo Choo is going to get the Time Winder. Reverse Shockwave sweep. Nearly back available. And wow, this game is so close right now, Atlas. You can see both teams do not want to give up anything. Now the Chiefs members recall, and Legacy think it's their turn. 
Yeah, they are going to start off this Baron. You can see the rest of the Chiefs trying to get back to base. Needle Seal Arch Rod in the pocket of Swiffer on top of everything else. Can they get Swiper. hand-tied? Swiper's in there. He's been eaten. Playful Trickster over the wall with the flat Chaos Storm. Finishes off the Fizz. Now Radiant, Radiant on the run. Not going to get hit by that Sonic Wave. But Minky Well gets in behind him. Trying Stop. to turn it in. Radiant wow. Sonic Wave onto everyone. Triple kill for Radiant. And Minky Well, last man standing, Chiefs. It looks like it could be game if Minky Well hurries up and dies. Quadra kill for Swiffer. And by gosh, he deserved it. What a shockwave out of the mid laner. We've been saying it all game long. Do not clump against the Chiefs and Swiffer makes them play. They got the pick they thought they wanted. They deleted Radiant off the yeah. map, but in the end, it did not matter. Baron going to fall and Chiefs in the driver's seat. They went tick, we got Swiper, tick, we got Radiant, oops. And Swiffer killed everyone. And they take the Baron Chiefs now, we're gonna try and close this one out, but it's not done yet, Spawn. There are inhibitors to be broken. Let's take another look at it. Mickey Whale goes over the top, definitely the right move, but the cow flies oh in. My and that is gross. He just deleted four members. Turning around so much good work from Legacy on that chase. Three Spook. cannon creeps That's in the mid lane. Cannons. Spooks passing by, making things purple on his way through. Just standing there, knows that he's not going to do much to those minions that his minions can't. He just goes back, buys a Luden's Echo. My god. Swiffer. So, not opting for the Zonya's Hourglass. He's made that mistake before, but. He's got a lot of damage and knows that Ejim, reliable engage. Exactly right. You see how well they team up to get these things started for their team. And whether it's engage, counter engage, they just have it all right now and looking to push in and break the base. Yeah, this inner turret possibly going to fall, but you can see the split pushes on from Swiper on the bottom side. Minky trying to hold on as Choo Choo's with Death Race, trying to deter the Chiefs, but they won't be. Parallel Convergence, zoning tool. Ben Legacy. Fantastic zoning tool with that. Oh yeah, okay. Swiper just wanted the turret. He gets eaten. Playfully Trickster's out of the way. Carbon's over here. These they need to make something so happen much somewhere. Damage. Yeah, Parallel Convergence, Spooks tanking up everything. Wally trying to do some work. Parallel Convergence is going to wear off, so not going to get stunned out. Gravity Fields around as well. And that uh, cannon creep destroyed by the boomerang. Once goes, again, Chief looking for a way in. Yep, Rockets are going to find uh, Wally. They do break the base, Spooks. Uses his oh, wow. pop around. There's some great health here. Swiper quite low. It is going to wear down. And he's gonna have to run back to base. So top inhibitor now under fire. Yeah, the rest of the Chiefs know, of course, Minky. Does he have the home guards? Not just yet. Parallel Convergence is in. They take down the inhibitor. Carbon doesn't find the Sonic Wave. And Chiefs looking to play it safe. Grab the in grab the objective. Move out. So Chiefs break the top half of the base. Are content with that for now and recall away. Another needlessly large rod picked up. For Swiffer, probably going to be Zonias, the Zonias. Please. Maybe will be a Rylize. Yeah, I have a feeling that will probably happen too. And you see that Swiper, he's grabbed his Spirit Visage, now going towards a Frozen Heart. Spooks grabs himself another Giant Belt. He's even more durable, but on the other side of the rift, Legacy is still piecing it together. Yeah. Finally, some armor pen. They also have a voice stuff. Another needlessly large rod. Minky is just getting bigger and bigger. Still struggling with a split pushing fizz. Everyone does at this stage of the game, but as far as team fighting goes, he is huge. Oh, Spooks uses the parallel convergence just to zone Legacy away from their wolves. Decides not to go in. Of course, Swiper was in the top lane, Raider in the mid, and Swiper not quite close enough. So Wally probably not going to get much stronger than this. Might grab a defensive item next in the Banshee's Veil, which would mean that he has maximum damage right now. And Siva can do a whole lot of AoE work with that Ricochet. Yeah, the only thing they're really missing is a Death Cap on Choose. Third Dragon secured for Chiefs. That equals that out. 
Yeah. And you feel it's one last team fight, Atlas. We'll see and whether Swift can do it again. And Legacy hold on. Exactly. 9,000 gold the lead. Pretty much irrelevant because everyone is capping out. And it's all about positioning. We've seen this time and time again. It's a game of footsies with both of these teams. Legacy, they've managed to get it before. Swift has turned that situation around. But you can see Legacy, they are still well and truly Nikki in the home zone. Guarding out. Chiefs, they probably won't go for a dive here. They've got the inhibitor on the top side. They can play safe. They needed to either go then or deal with the split pushing Fizz. They didn't pull the trigger. Now they need to defend. Now they're going to try to here. Baron buff, of course, has worn off. Parallel Convergence on top of the turret. Such a great zoning tool as Carbon takes half his health. Spooks on top of him. Another command attack. No shockwave. As there's a command protect on the Egypt. They're ready to start this fight off. But man, Chiefs playing like they have one brain. In goes Egypt. Shockwave eliminates Choo Choo's. That might be the pick they're looking for. Swipe. Swiper finds his way in towards the backside. Minky Whale is causing all sorts of havoc, but he has to get out now. Three man knock up with the pulverize. And in goes the parallel convergence. Not going to find any stuns, but Carbon has to get the heck out. And Chiefs, they pick up two key, make that three key kills. And Wally, the only damage left. Swiper. Oh my gosh. How is he still alive? And Wally's dead. The Nexus turrets under fire. The Chiefs, a 3-1 victory. And they will be our wildcard representatives heading over to Turkey. What a performance out of the entire Chiefs lineup. You can see the boys on screen sharing a big hug. It must mean so much to finally get over the hurdle that was Legacy. But they took them to the fourth game. Looked like they had a way in. But Chiefs just too good. Just too good. And of course, the hurdle of losing a game as well, Spawn. Something that the Chiefs hadn't had to face just yet. All right now, after four epic games, let's give it up for our 2015 OPL Grand Final Champion, the Chiefs!
With that, with that being said, I want to thank all my viewers watching. I want to thank Sydney, Australia, and everybody here in Luna Park for an epic 2015 Grand Final.